Okay, uh, in case you haven't seen one of these before, this is what's known as a key bugle. And this is the instrument that started the brass band movement in the United States. Um, I'll only be about 20 minutes here. Okay. <laughs> this, this instrument uh, came in, in a larger version, in B-flat, uh, from England. Uh, it, was, uh, it was brought over to the United States, well, around 1810, brought over to the United States about 1815 by, uh, by Richard Willis, who at the time had just been appointed bandmaster at West Point Military Academy, and he brought over two of these brand new chromatic bugles, key bugles, or Royal Kent bugles, uh, and taught, uh, taught the, the uh, buglers and trumpeters how to play them. They became the new melodic instrument, uh, leading to the entire brass band era of the 19th century. Uh, key bugles existed in, in soprano form as E-flat sopranos. They existed as B-flat uh, contralto, uh, E-flat uh, alto, and uh, then C and B-flat bass, uh, known as, uh, as ophiclides, or keyed serpents. Latin for keyed serpent. Uh, the keyed bugle uh, died out in about 1855 to 60, except for a few holdouts who played this instrument. The old, some of the older guys didn't want to learn uh, valves, which were invented and brought to the U.S. in the in the uh, 1840s. They didn't want to learn to play the newfangled valve instruments, so they stuck with their keyed bugles until they until after the Civil War, when they uh, when they retired uh, or uh, or passed on into history. So uh, this instrument uh, uh, pretty much had died out by the end of the Civil War, but you still do read accounts of it being used by band leaders and some, uh, some brass band musicians during the Civil War. Uh, nowadays, they're very scarce. Uh, this is an original dating to about 1840 or so. And uh, you heard, the, you heard the, the, uh, the sweet sound of it. Uh, These went into attics, and uh, that's where they're coming out of now, where we find them. So that's the key bugle. Thank you, Jeff.